since we're implementing this message component interface we need to um, implement some um, functions okay so one function is on open so it has to be anytime that you open a new connection um, we have to have that function and it takes a connection interface as a parameter so let's do um, connection interface um, let's just give it the value count and the next is um, on message anytime a message is sent to the server so let's do on message and that takes a connection interface as well and the connection interface let's just say from so whoever sent the message and the actual message that has been sent okay so in there let's do um, echo message so that we're echoing the message to the server and next let's do um, implement another function which is required by this interface here and um, that will be on message uh, actually not on message on close so anytime that connection has closed that is the client from the browser has disconnected let's do a connection interface and that will be the connection as well and finally one last method that we need to implement is um, on error anytime an error occurs okay and that's also a connection interface and um, connection and um, the exception will be passed as well that will contain the error detail so let's do exception and let's just say dollar e and one last thing um let's create another file in the base um folder here let's call it server.php that's what we're going to use to um load up our ratchet server okay in there let's just do use ratchet um actually let me open a php tag okay so i'll just move this up here so use ratchet and um, backslash server and um, io server okay so next let's do use chat app backslash um, chat and um, of course this have to these are not available f at first so we're gonna do use vendor since um, we, this is not a PSR4 um, compliant file that's why we um, we are adding the vendor um, auto load file there okay so let's do auto load PHP and that's what's inside this vendor folder here this is the file that we are requiring so it's not used it's required okay and you pass in a string okay so next what we need to do is we need to um, start up a server so let's say server equals to IO server and um, factory and then I'm um, in there we're gonna have to pass in our chat class which we have imported here okay and lives inside this file here so let's say new chat and um, yeah so that's what we need and then finally the other option that we need to pass to factory is the port okay so let's do comma and just put in port 80 80 so when we start the server that's where um, our chat app will run on the port so let's just finally do server and let's just do run okay so next let's do a composer dump autoload so that um, our classes are dumped that is this classes that we created inside source and um, chat app okay so composer dump autoload let's run that in your terminal in the base and um, project folder okay next just just do php server basically you want to run that file using um, your php on the command line and we press enter and it says we have an error on chat file on line 13 so let's see what that is line 13 okay since i forgot a semicolon here for clients okay i'll run that again and it says the same issue expecting variable and let's see what that is so arguments here um since we're knowing of chat here without passing in any arguments um seems like uh that's showing up an error okay so now let's see what it says it says class chat up can extend from interface okay this is not extends implements <laughs> i've been saying extends all along well i'm sorry implements well actually we um we're typing extends okay so um now that our server is running let's send our messages to that server using something called um telnet okay so let's open up another tab here um 
the telnet is something on the command line and you can use to um, connect to a server that's running um, on PHP okay so let's just say telnet so we want to connect there um, to this server as host so telnet localhost 8080 okay I'll press enter and um, see what it's saying okay so separate this here so now that we're connected um, let's see what happens when we send a message to this server so let's say hello there okay press enter or it says undefined variable message in um, chat.php online 25 so let's see on message message sent um, should be message so um, let's close this server and run it again and now um, after the server started running let's connect using telnet again so now let's say hello uh, from command line press enter now you see it's saying hello from command line i'll just uh, put these windows side by side um so that you can see what's happening i'll just open another window here i'll just tap that to the left and i'll tap that to the right okay so now let's connect here using another um telnet i will say telnet local host 80 80 and there now i'm connected and let's just say hi from another telnet client you should see that message pop on here okay i'll press enter and it says hi from another um telnet client okay so um so that's it guys for this first video and um i thank you for watching i hope you're excited about this course because i am and um, i'll see you soon in the next video thanks for watching bye bye